The initial stride in establishing a crayfish farm pivots around choosing the perfect location. This decision-making process begins with considering the availability of fresh water sources. Fresh water is essential as crayfish are aquatic creatures that thrive best in clean, unpolluted water conditions. You should consider a site that is near a water body such as a lake or a stream, as this would provide a natural and sustainable source of fresh water for your farm. Additionally, the nature of the soil in your chosen location is another deciding factor. The soil composition should ideally be such that it can retain water well. This is crucial because crayfish create burrows and need damp surroundings. Clay soils tend to be the most suitable as they have excellent water holding capacity. They provide a conducive environment for crayfish to thrive by helping to maintain the necessary moisture levels. However, in case clay soil is not readily available, other soil types such as silt or loam can be utilized. These types of soil can also serve the purpose provided they are treated appropriately to enhance their capacity to hold water. They might require certain additives or treatments to ensure they cater to the crayfish's habitat requirements. Another critical consideration when selecting your location is the accessibility of the site. The site needs to be easily reachable for essential farm activities like feeding the crayfish, maintenance, monitoring and harvesting. The convenience of accessibility can affect the operational efficiency of your farm. Ideally, a site that is proximate to your main operating base would be beneficial. Good road networks leading to the site would add to the ease of operations, making it more practical and efficient for daily functioning. Therefore, a location with freshwater access, like a lakeside or riverside, with clay or suitably modified silt or loam soil, and good accessibility, like a well-connected farm near your base, would be the perfect place to start a successful crayfish farm. Delving into the second step, the art of designing and crafting your crayfish ponds. This task is not standard as your pond scale can fluctuate considerably based on your goals and the area you possess. If you're a beginner in crayfish farming, a pond of approximately 50 square meters is a practical starting point. This dimension offers room for your initial batch of crayfish to flourish without being overly packed. For those with bigger plans and extra space, forming larger ponds could be an option. Bigger ponds house more crayfish, leading to increased production. However, remember that managing a larger pond could be labor-intensive and may necessitate more resources. The next important aspect is depth. The depth of your crayfish pond has a significant role in ensuring their well-being. Ideally, it should be roughly 1 to 1.5 one meters deep, maintaining a stable temperature which is vital for crayfish's healthy growth. The pond's design should consider the slope. This isn't only for aesthetics, but it allows easy access for crayfish, aiding their movement. A steep drop-off could potentially trap them, causing stress and affecting their health. To wrap up, crafting your crayfish pond requires thoughtful consideration of various elements. From the pond's size to its depth, and even its slope, every feature plays a pivotal role in ensuring a successful crayfish farming experience. Moving forward, the preparation of the pond environment is a crucial step. This process begins with filling the pond with water, which isn't as straightforward as it sounds. The quantity of water added is determined by the size of your pond. A guideline is to fill the pond to a depth of 2 to 3 feet, providing enough cover for the crayfish. Once the pond is filled, allow the water to settle for a few weeks before introducing your crayfish. This ensures that any chlorine present evaporates and the water chemistry stabilizes, making it safe for your crayfish. During weeks, concentrate on adding vegetation. Aquatic plants like anacaris, java fern and hornwort are excellent choices. They offer hiding spots for the crayfish and help maintain the water quality by absorbing nitrates. Shelter is an essential element of their habitat. Crayfish thrive in areas where they can hide during the day. By introducing rocks, logs, PVC pipes or specially designed crayfish hides, you can provide them them with ample shelter. Reviewing successful ponds, you'll find some excellent models. A naturalistic pond design mimics the crayfish's natural habitat with a range of aquatic plants, rocks and logs, while a minimalist pond might incorporate PVC pipes and a few select plant species. These examples highlight how to create a thriving pond environment for your crayfish. Once the pond has been prepared, the next crucial step involves sourcing your crayfish stock. This is not just about picking any crayfish, 
It involves a thorough understanding of various aspects. Crayfish are diverse, with hundreds of species worldwide, each with unique needs and preferences. Take, for example, the red swamp crayfish, native to the southeastern United States. This species is adaptable, surviving in different climates and water conditions. Then there's the signal crayfish, a North American species which prefers cooler climates and freshwater bodies. In contrast, the yabby crayfish of Australia favors warmer climates. So, when obtaining your crayfish, you should ensure that the variety aligns with your local climate and the conditions of your water bodies. Moreover, the health of your crayfish stock is also of primary importance. It is vital that your crayfish are disease-free. Diseases such as the crayfish plague caused by the fungus Aphanomyces astasi or the white spot syndrome triggered by a virus are lethal to crayfish populations. Ensure you source from trustworthy suppliers who can provide health certificates for their crayfish. This will prevent introducing any health issues into your farm. The health of your crayfish stock, just like their suitability to your climate and water conditions, is an aspect that requires meticulous attention. The maintenance and care of your crayfish farm is an intricate process that requires continuous attention. One of the significant aspects is monitoring water quality. Crayfish flourish in an aquatic environment with balanced pH levels and temperature. Regular testing of water parameters using reliable kits is necessary. Feeding your crayfish is a vital task. They are omnivores requiring a varied diet including both plant and animal-based food. Modifying their diet in relation to their growth stages is important. For example, juvenile crayfish need more protein for growth. Managing potential pests and diseases is crucial. Regular inspections can identify signs of disease or pest infestation early. Having a plan for pest control and disease treatment is essential, which might involve introducing beneficial organisms or using crayfish-friendly pesticides. Regular harvesting is another key practice. Overcrowding can lead to increased competition for food and increased disease transmission. Hence, a well-managed crayfish pond should be harvested around three, four times a year. This keeps your crayfish population healthy and ensures a steady supply for your customers. In summary, maintaining a crayfish farm involves diverse tasks, from water quality monitoring to feeding, pest management and regular harvesting. By adopting effective practices, you can keep your crayfish healthy and your farm thriving. Securing the necessary permits for crayfish farming is a meticulous process. It's about understanding local regulations which can be different depending on your farm's location. Consulting local agricultural or environmental agencies or even legal pros can assist you in this complex task. It's not just about paperwork, it's a demonstration of your commitment to responsible farming. For example, you may need to present a detailed farming operations plan to secure a permit. This should illustrate how you'll safeguard local water resources, prevent disease spread and ensure humane treatment of the crayfish. Guidelines often include waste management policies, crayfish containment measures to prevent them from becoming invasive and feed specifications. Neglecting these rules can lead to heavy penalties or even halt your operations, emphasizing the importance of strict compliance. Crayfish farming impacts the environment. Crayfish waste can pollute nearby water sources, causing harmful algae blooms. Escaped crayfish can disrupt local ecosystems, competing with native species for resources. However, responsible farming can mitigate these risks. Practices like maintaining optimal crayfish densities, proper waste disposal and secure containment can considerably lower environmental damage. A commitment to responsible farming isn't just good for the environment, it's also good for business, as it leads to healthier crayfish and a more sustainable operation in the long run. To recap, the process of setting up a crayfish farm entails a series of carefully planned steps. First, selecting a suitable location is crucial, taking into consideration factors such as water availability, soil composition, climate, and accessibility. Following location selection comes the designing and construction of your ponds. Remember that these ponds should be designed to mimic the natural environment of the crayfish for optimal growth. This includes ensuring the water depth, temperature and pH levels are all conducive for crayfish farming. The next step involves meticulously preparing the pond environment. This includes the introduction of aquatic plants for the crayfish to feed hide within. 
along with the installation of proper aeration systems to maintain the water quality. Once the pond environment is ready, you move to sourcing your crayfish stock from a reliable supplier, ensuring the stock is healthy and disease-free. Maintaining your farm is the final yet continuous step, which includes regular feeding, pond cleaning, constant monitoring of water conditions and crayfish health, and timely breeding and harvesting. Embarking on a crayfish farming journey demands not just careful planning and dedication, but a genuine love for these fascinating creatures. With the steps and key points outlined in this video, you're now more than prepared to delve into the world of crayfish farming.